Well, my job was the point person for U.S.-China relations from 1997 to 2000. And we were very focused on trying to develop a foundation for cooperation between the U.S. and China and preventing a new Cold War. So we had two summit meetings at that time. Jiang Zemin, then President of China, came to the United States. President Clinton went to China, and that helped. I'd say the biggest, uh, and we definitely worked hard to uh, encourage China to stop being a proliferator of missile and nuclear technology, and that was very successful. We, and of course, the great change was that we managed to achieve a bilateral agreement for China to enter the World Trade Organization, and that has, ever since China joined the WTO, it has taken off uh, economically. Well, I think right now the greatest challenge to U.S. foreign policy is uh, terrorism. And uh, related to that, uh, what we do about Afghanistan and Pakistan, uh, very, very difficult challenges. You know, what is the right strategy there, military as well as diplomatic. But I guess what I would suggest is that we look at the big picture um, and not just at what's in the headlines. As for students, I'd say this is, you know, this is a tremendous challenge to the human race. How do we do this? And it's uh, tremendously exciting. And that everybody should have at least two careers. So uh, recognize that even if your first job is something maybe a little narrower, not being a diplomat, not being a foreign service officer, maybe working more locally, that you can also shift gears and have a second career later on.